Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at the First Strike dual valve CO2 fill station today. Um, if you're a small paintball field that's just getting started, or if you have access to liquid CO2, and you want to fill your own bottles, this is what you would use to do it. So you need two things besides this assembly right here. You would need the fill bottle, so a large CO2 bottle. Usually it's like a 50 pound CO2 bottle. And then you need the receptacle bottle or the wherever the CO2 happens to be going. This being a 20 ounce CO2, there's all sorts of different sizes of CO2 bottle that you could fill too. Now, that being said, the bottle that you are filling from, so the large bottle that would be connected on this side, must be a siphon CO2 bottle. Otherwise, it will not work properly. Let's pretend that this was the large bottle. So the big 50 pound bottle that you would see at your local paintball shop. Inside that CO2 bottle is a snorkel that runs from the valve all the way down to the bottom of the tank so that you are only pulling the liquid CO2 out of the bottle and filling to the smaller bottle. If you are not pulling the liquid out, you are only pulling gas out. And when you try to fill this bottle with just gas, you're gonna get 20, 30 shots and your tank will be empty, if that. So this bottle, the large bottle over here, must be a siphon CO2 bottle of whatever size it happens to be, otherwise you're not doing it properly. Or you would need to flip the big bottle upside down and have it suspended upside down somehow. Not practical, just get a siphon version, it's much easier. All right, so how does it work? So this right here, this will connect to the large style bottle. You see there's a, uh, two little washers, two little Teflon washers that are attached here. These just go in between. It's basically a crush washer that will make sure that the connection between the big bottle and the assembly here doesn't leak. That's all these are for. They give you an extra one. You don't need to run both at the same time. All right, so that is set up. Um, first thing we're gonna do after we connect this is we're gonna make sure that this valve is closed and then we will open the large CO2 bottle. Because we have a valve right here, the CO2 bottle, the large one, can just stay open constantly. Um, unless you're switching it, then you need to close it down. But it can just stay open while you are filling bottles. You don't need to shut it off when you're done filling the bottle. Gas comes in, comes into the valve, the valve stops it right here. We've got this assembly then. So we've got our hose and our release valve over here. At this point, once we've got our uh, system pressurized, we go ahead and take our CO2 bottle and connect it to our fill hose. Like this is open like that. We would connect this to here and then we would tighten this down. This will depress the valve that is inside our CO2 tank, allowing gas to come in and go inside when we open it. So at this point, our connection to our bottle is good. Our valve is closed and we're holding our CO2 back. We wanna make sure that this valve is closed as well. And then we can open this up. Liquid CO2 comes in, goes through the hose, goes into the bottle. We then fill our bottle appropriately. We'll get to that in a minute. And once our bottle is full, we will close this valve. So this would be the open position like that. Gas comes in, goes inside. Once it's done and we're, we're, we filled it up properly, we would then close this back off. Again, not touching the large bottle over here. Now we've got this closed this way, this closed this way, but we still have gas pressure here and into the bottle because the bottle is trying to flow back out at this point, but it's being stopped right here. So what we then do is undo the ASA here. That releases the pin. So gas stops flowing out of our CO2, our small CO2 tank, and trying to flow back into the hose. So no more gas coming out of here, but we still have gas built up in the line right here. It's not going here, it's not going here, it's just stuck inside here. Open this valve up, the pressure that is in here goes off there, and then we can unscrew the bottle from the hose. I do not recommend unscrewing the bottle from the hose before you have bled the hose system out because all the pressure that's inside here is gonna then try to come out the connection when you unscrew it. Not a safe thing to do. That's why the bleed is there. Makes it much, much easier. And then that's it, you're done. Set, ready to go, here you go, go play paintball. That kind of thing. Now, 
Couple things when it comes to filling these bottles. If you are going to properly fill a CO2 bottle, whether it be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 ounce, whatever it happens to be, they must be cold to the touch, like actually frosty to fill them properly. Now you could put your bottle in a freezer or whatever in the refrigerator to get it cold, but the most effective and quickest way to do it is to fill CO2 into it and then leaving the valve open. So not undoing this, letting that CO2 flow right back out. So opening the bleed valve and the CO2 that you filled up, letting it come back out. When you do that, you don't need to fill the whole bottle up. You fill up maybe two seconds worth of CO2 into the bottle, stop, and then bleed it out. And that gas flowing out of the bottle will chill down the bottle and it'll get very cold to the touch. You'll wanna wear gloves. At that point, when your bottle is cold, that's when you fill it. And to properly fill it, you do it by weight. So you need to put it on a scale, know what the weight of your bottle when it is empty, and then fill it the appropriate number of ounces according to the outside of your bottle. This being a 20 ounce, we put 20 ounces of CO2 into it, and then we would stop. Don't overfill them. You can put more into them. Don't do it. You just, you're just asking for a problem as far as your burst disc going bad um, or something going wrong with the valve. So don't overfill them. Go to 19 and a half ounces. You're never gonna know the difference between 19 and a half and 20, and then run it from there. Always err on the side of safety. Um, once you've done it properly, disconnect it like we talked about. There you go, go play some paintball. Um, but like I said, if, if you're not filling your bottles when they're cold, you're doing it wrong, you're not getting the optimum number of shots out of your tank. Not having the optimum, uh, optimum number of shots means you're not having as much fun as you could, and then everybody loses. Uh, so make sure they're cold, make sure your paintball field is doing it that way. And if you are just starting out and you have access to CO2 or your field and you need another fill station, check this one out. It's a first strike dual valve CO2 fill station. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.